This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the latest 20 billion parameter Alexa teacher model in large language models. Okay. Now this model has a encoder decoder architecture and they claim that this model does better than GPT-3, which is a decoder only architecture on, uh, you know, few short tasks such as summarization and machine translation. Whereas this model is only 20 billion parameters, GPT-3 is 175 billion parameters. Okay. So now let's go into a little bit of uh, details over here in this blog post. Okay. So what they claim over here is an example, right? Uh, the model is provided with three examples of different intents or the tasks that the customer wants executed. Book, restaurant, play music and get weather. The model can generalize from these unfamiliar intent get news update and generate utterances corresponding to that intent in different language. This allows us to develop new features more rapidly and in multiple languages simultaneously. Okay. The idea is that given this kind of intents, okay, there is this new intent called get news update in some target language. So now this model is able to learn and generalize based on these examples and come up with responses. That is the idea over here. This is in English. This is in the other languages. Okay. Now, uh, this Alexa teacher uh, model, 20 billion model is a sequence to sequence encoder decoder. Okay. So in an encoder decoder architecture, the encoder produces a representation of an input using a bi-directional encoding, right? And the decoder uses this representation to perform some task, historically generating translation of the input. So this is a uh, encoder decoder architecture. Okay. By contrast, in a decoder only model like GPT-3, okay, it uses left to right unidirectional encoding of the input text okay, to predict and it is task is language modeling which is to predict the next token in a sequence based on those that precede it. But it is less effective for machine translation and text summarization. On these tasks, Alexa 20 billion um, parameter model outperforms GPT-3. Okay. So that is what they explain over here. They also say that it also tops GPT-3 by being multilingual. It supports these many languages like Arabic, English, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Marathi, Portuguese, Spanish, Tamil and Telugu. Okay. Its carbon footprint during training is one fifth of GPT-3 thanks to its lower parameter count and internal improvements to the training engine. Okay. So to train this particular model, what they did was they trained on a mix of denoising and casual language modeling tasks. What is this denoising task? In the denoising task, the model is required to find, drop its spans and generate the complete version of the input. So basically an input is given with some span of text dropped and the model needs to generate the complete version of the input. Okay. This is similar to how other sequence to sequence models like T5 and BART are trained. Whereas the causal language modeling task, the model is required to meaningfully continue the input text. Okay. This is how your decoder only models like GPT-3 and PAM are trained. So these two pre-training tasks, a mix of this uh, training was done, which helps Alexa TM, uh, the teacher model to generalize based on the given input and generate new text. That is the idea. Okay, so here is an example. So this is the denoising um, objective where, uh, you know, Coldplay are a rock band formed in 1996, whereas actual denoise text is Coldplay are a British rock band formed in London, okay, in 1996. This is the casual language modeling task where they give a specific prompt, um, uh, what you call a mask called CLM, Coldplay are a, and then it continues, British rock band formed in London in 1996, okay. So what they say is that uh, given a single article summarization pair, Alexa TM can generate higher quality summaries compared to Palm 540 billion parameters model. Okay. So that is what they have given over here. Right. And uh, this also achieves state of art performance in few short machine learning, uh, uh, machine translation tasks across all language uh, pairs in this particular data set, floors 101. Okay. And uh, the gains in translating to and from row, uh, low resource languages are very significant. That is what they say over here, like Marathi, Tamil and Telugu. Okay. The results suggest that large scale sequence to sequence style pre-training as formulated in this work improves machine translation for languages with few training pairs, especially with the large amount of monolingual data is available for the target language. 
okay so that is a progress which they have achieved with this particular model and this is also capable of few short learning they will also be releasing the model publicly for non commercial use to aid the development of multi what you call multilingual large language models they have also implemented this function to enable loading the model on up to 8 gpus with limited uh, gpu memory for on your ec2 computation service okay so in this way you can use this particular model for your own work so this is about this alexa teacher model right sequence to sequence model let's go little bit into detail by looking into the paper okay so if you go to the paper uh, they talk about the same thing uh, the abstract talks about uh, you know what is the achievement of this particular uh, model okay how this is better than your uh, um, say gpt3 or say palm right so what they say is that this is a 20 billion uh, parameter multilingual sequence to sequence model uh, it performs um, you know it achieves state of art on one shot summarization task outperforming larger 540 billion parameter uh, palm decoder model it also achieves uh, state of art in one shot uh, machine translation especially for these languages on this particular data set it outperforms gpt3 on super glue and score to data sets and uh, provides a uh, state of art performance on multilingual task that is what they say over here and if you go to what is the main uh, this thing so they train and release this particular model uh, they say that large scale sequence to sequence models are better at in context learning for where the context is long like summarization compared to larger decoder only models like palm and gpt3 uh, they say that uh, we demonstrate that it's a 8x smaller sequence to sequence model and it can perform on par or better than gpt3 1.75 billion parameters okay it's also good at uh, you know one shot machine translation okay so now a little bit about the model architecture detail so they say that it is a tr standard transformer model architecture except that um, with uh, the small modification of moving the layer norms both in the encoder and decoder to be located exactly at the beginning of each layer right after the skip connection instead of at the end of each layer okay this is a small change and this modification has been proposed to improve the stability of the training especially for large models okay so that is the modification and here is the encoder layers number of encoders layer 46 decoder layers 32 for this 20 billion parameters number of attention heads 32 right and this is the uh, embedding dimension which is 4096 and number of parameters is close to 20 billion okay this is the model details now here are details of data sets um, so this is the details of data sets where they have used uh, close to 119 billion tokens from wikipedia and mc4 and this is actually multilingual data set okay in these 12 languages right and because they wanted this to work on spoken queries uh, and written text they use a written text to spoken formatter for all languages in the training data okay so basically it removes capitalization punctuations etc okay this is about your training data right so this is about the two objectives which are denoising and uh, causal language modeling which i have explained before so what they say is that during pre training the model is trained on de uh, noising task 80% of the time and 20% of the time on causal language modeling task so that is the kind of mix they use for pre training okay so then there is this detail about uh, uh you are training setup now as i explained 20% and 80% of the time um, you know this particular part 80% of the time is your denoising task and 20% of the time is your uh causal language modeling task so that is the training setup okay now a little bit uh, details on the hardware required for training right so for training this it took them 120 days on 128 nvidia a100 gpus for a total of 500k updates with the accumulated batch size of 2 million tokens so this is huge amount of training okay uh, so this is about training and then there is about evaluation of how it is evaluated on few short learning right um, so how uh, for denoising mode and how for this causal learning mode and they also talk about fine tuning for uh, what you call your um, uh, downstream tasks right so for the fine tuning they add this clm to the beginning of the input okay so here are some evaluation results where the scores are given in detail how this is either sota it is state of the art or it is slightly better than state of the art then as with the uh, large language models they talk about uh, you know bias and uh, basically 
toxicity and other things over here um, fairness and bias in these large language models um, they talk about that over here and they say that uh, uh, while we don't observe any evidence of hate or bias against any religious group we do observe bias against the demographic group black the model generations also seem to perpetuate common stereotypes about certain groups as is evidenced by adjectives such as these things hard working lazy motivated so there is toxicity and bias in this particular model as well so that is what they talk about over here and uh, then if you go uh, you know uh, they also talk about the results uh, about memorization so one problem with large language models is that they can memorize the training data right so what they say is that uh, overall we observe the following memorization increases with frequency in the training data so this is consistent with observations for the other models as well uh, okay but unlike what was observed for gpt family of models memorization does not monotonically increase with the context size okay so more the context in gpt kind of models your memorization used to increase but here it is not the case details you can read over here in this paper right the other details also can be read over here uh, what is also inter interesting for me is this uh, environmental impact where they say that it is one fifth of the gpt3 carbon footprint right for training this particular model and they've also given details of uh, you know for the other models how much is the accelerator compute days and what is the carbon emissions okay so that is what is given over here and uh, if you go to the appendix over here you can also find out how the prompts have been generated for the various tasks prompt evaluation format for the different tasks so for example if it is a summary generation short summary then uh, this is the kind of the prompt right short summary and they also send this clm okay uh, so if it is for uh, generation of uh, summary so this is these are examples of summary generation uh, you know kind of uh, this thing so then you also have a kind of uh, you know triplets into natural language this is some other kind of task so these are about the prompts used for one shot evaluation on different generation tasks okay then you have uh, prompts for the uh, this thing zero shot evaluation on multilingual uh, data sets so this is about denoising so how do you um, you know for denoising this is the kind of the prompt uh, encoder input and this is the decoder input okay and then you have uh, examples over here for uh, your uh, zero shot evaluation on english data sets so for the squad kind of uh, this thing so for the squad this is the kind of question answer right so the prompt over here is question and answer and clm is given as input uh, you know so this is about again uh, question context question answer right so that is what is given over here so you can also look into it they also tried it on you know uh, your uh, arithmetic kind of uh, questions where you have these kind of uh, inputs where like if there are three cars in the parking lot and two more cars arrive so it's kind of reasoning to get an answer kind of arithmetic operations and this thing so here you also have zero shot you also have chain of thought where it kind of uh, breaks the uh, question into a set of steps and then you try to get the answer so these details are also present over here so you can check out uh, this paper to get further uh, details so what i understand from over here is that they will also be releasing this model at some point of time I'm not sure if it is currently present. No, it is not yet been released, but they will be releasing it over here. That's the idea over here. Uh, but we can uh, at the moment read the paper. So once it is released, we can try out this model and see how it uh, performs. But this seems to be an exciting development uh, in the sense that if you are able to reduce the carbon footprint and the model parameter size, that's a huge achievement. And if you are still able to you know, give close to state of art results. I hope this short uh, description of uh, this 20 billion parameter Alexa teacher model is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.